Don't forget your alt fire, Guthix. Like a salty. No, I know about it, but. Hey, snack in here. Talking to myself with another video log. Not just myself, but I guess the other, what, two subscribers that might find this content. But hey, if you're not one of them and you come by, be sure to subscribe. Send a comment if you want. If you've never seen one, the video log is just for me to remember things that happened during a season. Um, it helps me to go back and refer. Uh, these are not, although I'll have a game, I'll have game footage running in the background. It's really not about reviewing my gameplay. It's about reviewing other things that I need to remember. Anyway, so what do I need to remember? First off, congratulations to me. Made it back into silver. Currently sitting at fifteen sixty. With a season low of 1222, according to Master Overwatch. Um, and I could have swore I dropped into the 11s, but I could be wrong. Either way, we're looking at a 350-point jump over the course of two weeks. Um, and that's because of excellent team integration. I found a group of people that I can play with fairly regularly, and that's really helped. We've... Uh, We've learned how to match our styles. We've learned how to, I wouldn't say we shot call, but we do communicate much, much better than we did in the beginning. Um, I've kind of learned the D.Va rework and the Mercy rework. I'll be talking about the Mercy rework in here in a little bit too. Um, so uh, yeah, so good stuff. I'm up in silver, getting close to my goal. Goal was 1750. So that may still be achievable by the end of the season. Um, side note, it's the, 28th of September season ends in four more weeks so we're at the halfway point and I'm in good position to, to finish out my goal um, odd things of note uh, placement matches I mentioned this before placement matches completely destroyed my win percentage I finally got it up to almost 50 50 percent which is uh, which is excellent considering I was down in the 30s um, Mercy Diva, which are my two main characters, uh, after the rework, almost got Mercy back to 50% uh, win rate. Diva's still sitting down around 43%. Played her a lot in my placement matches, and it, it just destroyed my win rate. Um, Kill-death ratio, though. Kill-death ratio has come up from the um, uh, low fours into the mid fives. Um, so, again kind of getting used to that rework kind of getting used to how to protect myself better and uh, made a video on that if you guys want to check that out that's the diva survival guide weird things of note reinhardt yeah i'm doing very well with reinhardt this season for some reason sitting around 58 percent win rate soldier uh i set one of my goals to learn a dps hero uh, soldier, I'm sitting at a 60% win rate. Putting up decent numbers. Eliminations are good. Kill death ratio is good. Damage is good. Um, accuracy. Oh my god, my accuracy sucks. And that's going to be the thing that kills me. The odd thing of note, Zarya, of all heroes, is my most accurate character sitting at 56%, and I don't know why, but hey, whatever. I'll take it. Um, Alright, so that's kind of where I'm at statistically. Let's. Also, I've discovered an app. Well, I didn't discover. Someone pointed an app called uh, Oversumo. I check it. You have to take it with a grain of salt if you've ever used it because it shows that I'm putting up master level numbers on D.Va. And after doing a little research, what it really means is that of the players it's tracking, I'm putting up numbers that only the top 2% of those players reach. But what does that... But I'm doing that against people that are in silver and bronze, right? Which means when I play D.Va, I'm playing above silver and bronze level. It does not by any means mean that I'm a master. So you have to take that with a grain of salt if you're using over sumo. Right. It doesn't mean that you're a master, or that you're ranked the way that it says that you're ranked. What it means is, is that you're playing above your the level that you're currently at.
Yeah, something else. Uh, I didn't realize we had three tanks. After playing her for a while, I've got some some definite opinions about the Mercy rework. Um, not necessarily whether it's good or bad. I don't really care. The developers are going to do what the developers do, and I just got to learn how to deal with it. Um, I mean, I'll give feedback and I'll yell and scream about changes I don't like, you know, just like anybody else, but really in the end, I just got to learn how to play it. So, all of these things I'm about to list may become bigger videos later, um, but I, I also do videos called Tips of the Icing, which... Again, there's only three of you. I'm sure you've seen them, but if you're a stranger and you happen by the content, it's a it's a video that I do tips, uh, play tips. But I try to keep them very small and very focused on one very, very singular piece of gameplay. Um, for instance, my first one was about Reinhardt's who charge way away from the team, get themselves out of position and get killed. And they're charging with no real purpose other than they just think they should charge. So, you know, it's very, that's a very small focused piece of the Reinhardt kit, right? Because I don't talk about, you know, when should you swing the hammer? When should you hold the shield? When should you get out of the line of fire? Blah, 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 blah. Um, so the Mercy Thoughts, all of these may become larger videos later. If any of the subscribers, you know, hear something in these that you want to see a video on, uh, send me a note and I'll uh, I'll do it for you so number one with the Mercy I've noticed that no one is changing how they play um, even though Mercy can't mass res at least not at the bronze and silver level um, and I watched some I watched some master level play and the, the guy was talking about how he would it was Stylosa on Unit Lost. I mean, who are we kidding? But he was talking about how you would dive in as Winston on an ulting soldier, knowing he was going to die, but also knowing that Mercy has res. At the lower levels, if you do that kind of risky play, there's a good chance you're not going to get res. And the reason is multiple reasons for that. Um, uh, one is if someone else has died, and it's likely they have, then all of a sudden the Mercy has a choice to make. How do you know you're going to win? How do you know you're going to win that decision, right? Um, uh, also, uh, in my experience, if I res a tank that's dead on the front line, there's a good chance he's going to die a second time, and I'm going to die with him. Um, so I think that's, that's a difference between master level and low level play, right, is if the Mercy goes in and reses that character who's surrounded by enemies and that character's not mobile enough to get himself back out, well, now you've just caused two more deaths and fed a lot more ultimate. Um, the other thing I've noticed, point number two, squeaky wheel gets the grease. So you need to communicate with your Mercy more than you did before. You know, before... Four people or five people are dead. Mercy swooping in, going to try and get everyone in an area. Right? It didn't matter. It didn't matter who you were. It didn't matter what position you were playing. It didn't. So if you die with ult, you might want to tell your Mercy that you have ult. And I've been seeing that from the team that I play with a lot. Right? It's like Mercy res me. I've got ult. That's great information for me to have because it doesn't show it in the panel. I can't just bring it up, bring up the play tab uh, and see that you've got ult or that you're dead with ult because it just shows the question mark and the you know circle spinning to show that you're responding. So unless I just happen to look, I don't know. I don't know that you've got ult. But if you let me know you've got ult, now I can make a much more informed decision. So if you die with ult, let your mercy know by all means. Otherwise, when I play Mercy and you're a tank, congratulations, you're at the top of my list. So my priority is the tanks, and then either the DPS or the healers, depending on the situation. Um, your position when you die, this is point number three. Position when you die is now more important than before. Um, I kind of alluded to that earlier. Mercy doesn't have her vulnerability now and has to be closer uh, like almost right on top of you to res you, 
So, if you're way out of position and it's a high risk res, I'm probably not going to go res you. Um, and the reason is, is there's no point in you dying and me dying just to get off the res. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. So, if you're a Winston or a D.Va, maybe a Farah, someone who can get out of there and that I can beam onto and tag along with, that's different. But in general, if you're way out of position, I'm not going to risk myself to come get you, and most Mercies won't. And that positioning is all of a sudden very important because we don't have the invulnerability to get ourselves back out of trouble like we did before. Point number four, um, your Mercy still needs to be protected. I saw a video once where some player was griping at the Mercy because she couldn't stay alive. And this person tells the Mercy, well, you don't need to be protected because you've got Guardian Angel, you can fly away. And that's just the stupidest damn thing I've ever heard. For those of you who don't know, Guardian Angel requires a target and has a range limit. It's not like I've got infinite range on it, right? So, if there's a Tracer hunting me in the back line... The first thing I'm going to do is look for a target that I can fly to to get me away from the Tracer. But the Tracer will blink after me, can probably gun me down, and run away from the Rhine or the Reaper or whatever I've latched onto to get away. So what I have to do is look for a second target to fly to and kind of lead the Tracer on a circle. Um, a lot of times that doesn't work. So unless I've got a fair in the air, a Diva up on a ledge... I'm probably not getting out of there, and Tracer is going to shove those twin pistols right up my ass. Um, so, that that hasn't changed with the rework. Your Mercy still needs to be protected if you want to be healed. If you're a Mercy player and you use your ultimate, get massive air. It's the first thing I do, is I just head for the skies. Um, your ultimate offers you no protection. Um, other than... You heal faster than before, but if a soldier pops his tack visor, you can be gunned down. So get height. It's the first thing I do, and then I start looking for places I can hide in case someone pops an ult. Um, the times I've died with Mercy at the lower levels after I've used my ult is when I dive in for uh, a res. Um, I, I haven't really died when I was way up in the air. Because the, the accuracy at the low levels, just it just isn't there. So height is your friend when you pop that ult. Remember that. Number six, uh, remember that Guardian Angel works at an enhanced level during your ultimate. So it speeds up the flight time. So you're way up in the air, someone needs to be rezzed, you Guardian Angel down to them. Or you way up in the air, a soldier pops his tack visor and you need to escape, you know, find a target and Guardian Angel to them. Because it's much, much faster um, than, your, than your flight speed, right? So don't fly to things, Guardian Angel to things. And that will, that will help you. Um, I will help you stay alive if you do have to get down close to the ground. Use your Guardian Angel instead of your just standard flight. Tell your team to group up. You know, point number seven. Tell your team to group up. Um, the chain heals. I want to say it's five meters or maybe it's ten meters. Let the team know that you've ulted. Encourage them to group as much as they can because you can heal the entire team with one beam thanks to the chaining. It's very, very cool. But the team has to be close together. And what I'm seeing at the lower levels is you ult, but people get excited, they get tunnel vision, and they start chasing the enemy, right? Because they, they want to kill them down. But that makes it harder on you as a healer. So encourage your team to group. And last but not least, if you're playing Mercy, you need to get used to a res-ult-res pattern. And what I mean by that is... Valkyrie, the new ultimate, resets your res. So you get the most bang for the buck if you can res, pop your ultimate, and then res a second time. So you get two reses in within just a couple of seconds, with the next one coming, you know, 10 seconds later. So you can get three three reses in 12 seconds if you'll get used to that pattern. Um, in fact, I, I, I will pop my ult if it's warranted, 
without someone being dead, but I sure like to hold it until that first one dies, and then I'll... It's, it's risky, but this is one that even at low level, I think the risk is worth the reward, where I can pop an ult, or I can pop the res, pop my ult, and then either heal or pop a second res right away. It's, it's really, really powerful. Anyway, all of those may become, uh, all of those may become videos on their own. Um, I just wanted to get the thoughts out there so that I'll think about them some more and remember them. Um, and I got my stats out, so it was good talking to myself. And if anyone else hears this, have a good one. I'm full, snacking out.